Hey friends, I wanted to teach you how to create a really super secure password that is different for every single website that you won't have to memorize. It's pretty awesome. So what you're gonna do is to create the best password ever. Okay, so what you're gonna do is think of the main requirements of the password, right? You have to have a capital letter, they need to have lowercase letters, they have to have numbers, and for an added measure of security, a symbol. So we need a capital letter, lowercase letters, numbers, symbols. And then we want them to be different for every website. So those are our main objectives, but easy to remember which isn't easy when they're different for every website, right? I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I want to think of two symbols that you love. Let's try um, and, and, or and, I don't know, let's do dollar sign percent. Okay, those are my symbols. So what I want you to do is Think of letters that you could replace for numbers. So let's just do vowels only, okay? So A is gonna be the number four. It kinda looks like an A. E is gonna be three. O will be zero. A E I, oh, oops, there's another letter, I. It's gonna bother anybody who uh, can't handle that. Um, so let's just do A, E, O, and I. A, E. I, oh, we're not gonna do you because I think that these will cover us. So I is the number one and O is a zero. Sound good? So what you're gonna do is for every single website that you go to, you're going to follow the exact same um, formula. You're gonna start your password with a dollar sign and then let's say the password is for Google. You're gonna start every single one with the capital letter, so capital G. Then you're going to write the word Google and then end it with your percentage sign. So that is, you know what, actually what I usually do too is at the end, pick a number that is significant to you that you always um, would use. So for me, I'll just do my birth year and then a percentage sign. This this way that this is so that no matter what the website is say it's something that's got a really short name you at least have the right number of characters because most of them do need eight characters so your formula is always going to be the same but what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to change the o's to your zeros like you planned out and your e to a three so you're always going to remember that your password for google follows your formula. So let's say you needed a password for Yahoo. Dollar sign, Y, four, H, zero, zero, 1986, percentage. Super crazy, good password, right? Let's try another one. Let's go with, let's try Priceline or something. I don't know why that's the first thing that popped up. Don't worry about it. Dollar sign, P, R, the one instead of the I, C, three instead of the E, L, one instead of I, N, three instead of E, price line, 1986, percentage sign. So every single website is going to have a different password, but you're not gonna have to memorize each individual password. All you're gonna have to remember is your two symbols and then whatever else you've added to every password. So for me, all I have to memorize is dollar sign, 1986, percentage sign, and then always do your vowels. A is four, E is three, I is one, O is zero. I picked those because those numbers look like those letters enough and they're used commonly in things like license plates, whatever. Whenever people need to swap out numbers for letters, those are pretty common, right? So you can just keep doing that. I'm gonna do a couple more and then I think you've got it. So let's try um, Facebook dollar sign f4 c3 b3 
double zero K 1986 percentage sign. So let's try your bank. Let's try Chase dollar sign C H four S three 1986 dollar sign. Oops, sorry, percentage sign. So you can see from all of these numbers that these are different passwords, but you're not gonna have to memorize them. Hopefully that helps because I think it's so hard sometimes thinking of a new password for every single website, especially now that Google has these this um, compromised passwords checker on Chrome, which is insane. And I started doing something similar to this two years ago for passwords. And those are the only ones I didn't have to change in the compromised password thing. Um, and so say the, these did get compromised somehow, all you would have to do is change your symbols. So just decide when you change your password, okay, I'm doing percentage sign first, dollar sign last this time, or I'm gonna do um, dollar sign and percentage, oh my gosh, dollar sign and like ampersand or something like that. But you could just change your symbols. Everything else can stay the same. So, but adding the symbols in there and adding the capital letters and the numbers, it makes your passwords super hard to crack. Hopefully that was helpful. Bye guys.